Hello, it's Brooke Sydney. Welcome to my channel. I'm your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today we are going to talk about living in the wish fulfilled or another way of thinking about it is feeling your desires as real. But before we get into it, I'd like to remind you that there are two ways to work with me. One is one-on-one -on -one coaching. The other is email coaching. Both options are listed below. And I offer two communities for those of us on this beautiful manifestation journey. That information is also below. So today I wanted to talk about the importance of living in the wish fulfilled. So many people have been asking me, hey, how do I quantum leap? How do I manifest faster? And one of the key ways to quantum leap is to literally transport yourself through the 4D into the other timeline, into the other reality by concentrating, focusing, and living in the wish fulfilled. So quite simply, what is the wish fulfilled? The wish fulfilled is your dream, your goal, what manifestation would look like, right? What you are trying to manifest, your heart's desire. If you could spend all of your time, energy, and focus on what's happening in your 4D, what you're trying to create, then that's how you quantum leap yourself there. The reason why um, this works so well is because Honestly, if we're able to use our imaginative state, our 40, our kingdom within, this beautiful, I feel like, gift from God, the 5D, if we're able to truly put ourselves into that end state, in our imaginative acts, in our self-talk, in our visionary, you know, visions that we see, we are placing ourselves there. We are creating a new projection. We're creating a new reality. And if we're able to do that successfully, this is why I love Imaginal Acts so much. If we're able to put ourselves there and we start feeling it, we start feeling it as real, we start seeing it. Most of the time, if we let ourselves imagine or daydream, our mind and vision kind of gets the best of us. It kind of captures us. And when we feel captured, we start to feel it as real and it becomes more believable. Our subconscious becomes easily impressed because we are seeing it. The subconscious doesn't know if what you are showing it in your 4D or what's in front of you or what you're telling it is real or not real. So it is just up to you to continue to impress upon it what you do want to be real, or in other words, put it in reality, in reality, right? In your projection. And so that's why I think that manifesting to me is a lot easier. I think because the imaginal acts actually gives you that new sight. The imaginal act, the placing yourself into the wish fulfilled through using your imaginal acts, I feel like helps you to see with your mind's eye what that vision and that manifestation actually looks like. And when you activate, as Neville says, activate all of your senses. When you go into this imaginative act, when you go into this imaginal state, try to see what it looks like, feels like, tastes like, smells like, sounds like. Try to employ all of your senses because when your senses get activated, you feel it as real. You start to truly, I feel like, move into the vibration, move into the energy, and you bring those old thoughts, you bring your old thoughts behind you is the best way I can explain it. Your new thoughts, your new vision, your new feelings that you're experiencing from this beautiful inner state that you keep transporting yourself to raises your thoughts. It makes the thoughts that you see in your mind's eye more real now than what you're seeing in your physical eye in your 3D projection. That's why I believe that Imaginal Acts is one of the 
best way and the quickest way to transform and to jump timelines to change your reality as well as change your self-concept. So what is one of the ways that it makes it um, easier to get into this state is through meditation. I talked about that yesterday. I'll tag that video. You really want to get into, or two days ago now, to get into the state of meditation, which is being one with your thoughts, being one with your desires, you know, being clear about the things that you truly want, allowing yourself. So many of us are not allowing ourselves to want what we want. But when you allow yourself to want what you want and you start asking yourself, what would that look like? What would that feel like? What would it taste like? How would my life be different? How would I feel different? Those are some of the key questions to, again, transport you into that wish fulfilled, into that end state, that dream state. And you can use meditation while you're calm and quiet and relaxed and in a very neutral place to ask yourself those questions that I just listed, to bring yourself more clarity around the thoughts, the feelings, the beliefs, the states, the visions of what your wish fulfilled looks like, what your desires look like, helping you make your desires feel real because they are real. The other thing is to ask for help. For those of us that believe in God, ask God for help in showing you. Ask God for help in putting people on your path. Ask God for help in helping you to see what it is for you. And for those of you that don't believe in God per se, ask your higher self, ask your um, most clear self. That's why meditation works, prayer works. And then e, ask those questions to evoke those answers. We all have an inner knowing. We all have soul and spirit within that is here to help guide us, whether you believe in the Holy Spirit like I do or something else. Tap into your spiritual foundations to help move you forward, to help bring you clarity. Tap into your intuition if that resonates with you so that you can start to feel like you're on the right tap, on the right track. Get quiet enough with yourself to see if something feels true for you, right? And I say also, become committed. Become committed to manifesting the highest form of you, your best self, your highest self, the self that has the manifestation that you want the self that knows that it is already done, the self that is confident, I'll tag my confidence video, the self that has decided, I'll tag that video. Revisit these thoughts, revisit these empowering thoughts, speak life over yourself, speak it so much that the vision comes to you, that the affirmations are present they're there in your natural spirit so many so many of you and even i have clients that are speaking affirmations that truly don't resonate with you they're not even in their own words try putting things in your own words harness that imagination those times in your imaginal acts and your imaginal state and your inner conversations speak the things that truly resonate with you that way your mind and your subconscious more easily accept it right speak the language of you right? This is all about your relationship with yourself. So if you want to have a quantum leap in your manifestation, then you need to spend more time in the 4D, impressing upon it, living in the end state, living in the wish fulfilled, bringing yourself to that place where it feels natural, it feels real, it feels right. You can actually taste it it's so resonant now with who you are. And when you get to that point, you know that you've made the quantum leap. You are not in doubt. You are not in fear. You are not in lack. You are not in scarcity. You are actually now in complete certainty that your manifestation is here. And that's when you know that you have attained living in the wish fulfilled and that your manifestation is here. It is my intention that this video and this talk has been helpful. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and turn that bell on because I drop videos daily. See you tomorrow.